all of a sudden, oh my gosh, ah. Alex Gurnshelly. I think when you're hiring a cook in a restaurant or you're judging somebody who's on a cooking show, it's all about what they end up putting on the plate. Does it taste good? Do I want to eat it? Does it look inviting? I want to start with the most basic thing, which is the portion's a little small. This is a bad choice today. I mean, he's up there in the top for me with this. It tastes like someone was constrained by a certain set of ingredients. Or skills. I think this is a really tough challenge. Mixing savory and sweet together is always hard because pastry is tough. These are mostly chefs. They're not people that make a lot of desserts, and so that's always very uh, intimidating. I like the sort of rigatoni penne pie. It was kind of an apple pie with a Staten Island Italian-American touch. I thought that was really great. I like the corn muffins with the jalapeno and the chilies and the avocado. I think there were a couple of savory sweet desserts that made um, a lot of culinary sense, and they were exciting. You know, a lot of competition shows and a lot of shows where, you know, we eliminate along the way, it, it really is all about the food and the cooking. There's cooking under pressure, there's a clock, there are certain ingredients, there's a certain context where you have to cook something that's kind of all you and put it on the plate. This is about personality and food and cooking and story all rolled into one. So there's a lot of other layers that don't exist when you judge any other show. Hello, Miss Gornishelli. You're a beast. And I mean that in the best possible sense. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Enjoy. It was meant as a compliment. Wow. I find it a little bit hard to connect with Matthew. I'm sorry, Matthew, but you'll be leaving us this week. Like a dagger. If I were making a sweet and savory, I love chocolate, and I love how bitter um, chocolate can be. I love cocoa nibs and bittersweet chocolate, so I probably would have done something with um, cherries and dried fruit and chocolate and maybe beef and gone that kind of route. I love um, sort of going straight at the red meat, but then pulling it back into um, sweet with fortified wines like Marsala, um, dried fruit, cherries, fresh cherries, and maybe chilies. So there's a little tingly heat, a little sugar, a little acid, then you kind of don't know where you are. And I mean, isn't that what you're going for anyway?